Alright YouTube, this video is brought to you um, in 1080, 720, 480, and 360p. Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your brake pads. So the first thing we're going to do here is to take off the wheel. usually gets them off, but sometimes it doesn't. Alright, as you can see, hopefully you can see. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Probably hear the kids playing in the background. It feels like spring, sounds like spring, so I'm happy with it. Anyways, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate. There's bolts in the back here. You're going to want to think righty tighty lefty loosey, except since the bolt is on the other side, it's backwards. You want to take your hammer. In this case, I've got a sledgehammer because I couldn't find my regular hammer, so. <laughs> I've done this a lot of times. I've changed a lot of brake pads. I've just never done these yet because it hasn't been needing it until now. It might help if I put the hammer on the other side. You want to get the bottom loose. What did it do? There we go. Yeah. Doesn't matter how you get them off, as long as you get the bolts off, that's all that matters. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I got my junk coat on today to do this kind of work. I already got the other side done. It took me a little while, but not too long. Got my junk pants, junk coat. It's all good when you're working with that kind of grease. You know, you gotta gotta dress accordingly to working with that much grease. Alrighty, so quick little trick here. Before taking this whole caliper off, before pulling those bolts out completely, go and locate the bolts because you'll see these these rubber uh, boots. Behind the rubber boot, there's going to be a bolt. You're going to want to remove those. Um, it's easiest if you remove them before you pull the big bolts out. Don't remove them all the way; just loosen them up. You can do you can do this. Let's see. No, you can't. I take that back. I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. All right. So you're gonna wanna remove remove the bottom bolt first. If you remove the top bolt first, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just it might fall funny. You remove the top bolt, the big top bolt. bottom. It's going to come off like so. I'm going to want to flip it up like that. Let's get you back in frame here. If I can see the camera. There we go. Get it back in frame. Then I want to pull these smaller bolts out. We are talking about earlier. The ones that we loosened up. Just simply loosen these or not loosen them, take them out all the way. So let me do that real quick. And I will turn the camera back on. Alright, so we've gotten these bolts out here. I have to pull them off out off camera. Set those down to where you won't lose them. Make a quick note here. This tube here, you gotta be really careful of it. Um, because if you bend it, twist it the wrong way, it will crack, and these are not the cheapest things in the world. So, we're going to just simply pull on this piece, and that's going to be laying, you know, just be being still. Okay, here's your, your shoes. 
As you can see, voila. That one got close. Let's see if I can pull this out here. You just wiggle them back and forth until they come out. Um, like that. There you got your your cradle, if you will. Um, let's see if we can see that. This one was getting down there. It wasn't too bad. This one was right on the edge of being steel on steel. It was right there on this clip. There, was, It was steel on steel, so... Yikes. I don't want that. So, next thing you want to do, you want to take your C-clamp. Your C-clamp here. Um, this one's not big enough, but I make do with it. Went down and bought this today so I can do this job. I need to get a bigger one now. Went down to, to Harbor Freight and bought it. You know, I'm, I'm partial to Harbor Freight. So normally, you would place, you'd place this. Let's see if I can, you can see that. The bottom, the bottom of this C-clamp at the very bottom of this cup in here. And then this piece would be sitting on there gently. And then you would, um, you know, turn this in until you you press this um, this cup all the way in. But with this one, I've got to carefully work it in back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it's all the way down. Um, I wish I got the bigger C clamp. Uh, I was wondering if I was going to need that, and I do. So I apologize if you can't hear me. I apologize for the kids screaming in the background, and I apologize for all that fun stuff. As you can see, sorry, I've been covering it up here. Um, slowly work it in. You work it in until it is flush with the surface here. We're still working that in here. I'm going to go to the other side. Over here. Oh, I got that. We work that in. There we go. Do 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 it is flush with the surface there. That's all you need for that. Zoom you out here. So you can see all of this. Um, so here are the, the, here's the, what I call a cradle. That's what holds the brake shoes. Um, I'm actually gonna take my ring off so I don't scuff it up. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Funny thing is, now I'm going to have a ring line. <laughs> Anyways, um, you want to check these out. Make sure they they still have, feel like they have fluid in them. Um, as long as they're, they, they're smooth in and out, you know, they should be fine. Um, so... Next thing you want to do is check it, check the whole thing, you know, look look it over and see if you can see any worn parts um, up close, you know, see if you can see anything that needs to be replaced. And if so, you know, go back into the place where you got your, um, where you got your brake shoes from. You can get brake shoes from any automotive store. Some, some are better than others. Uh, I'm not I'm not supposed to say where I got mine. That's against YouTube policy and all that fun stuff. So 
I'm not going to say where I got mine. Uh, but I will say one thing. They're built to last. Now, if you're a mechanic, you can get where they came from. <laughs> um, so, I just checked it over. They look great. These look great. Um, so, next thing to do is you're going to need some of this. Brake lubricant made by Sil Glide. Another silky glide, if you will. You're going to lube it up. So I'm gonna, next, I'm going to show you where to lube it up. All right, that's where you want to spread the grease. Right inside here. Be very liberal with the grease. Put a whole lot in there because you want those pads to wear evenly, and you don't want them to catch up on anything. So, you also want to put it on these ends. I know that end is going to be in there, but you know, this this end is dry. So you're going to want to add, add some to, to that. I have a pack of this per side. You guys want to know. Just like that. Lots and lots of grease. Special brake grease. Alright. Then you just want to see I gotta think about this for a second. Be like that. Let's see they go this way. They do they do. They do and dibbly dibbly do. Hey. Got to get them to sit in the spots where they're supposed to sit. That's the fun part. Let's see. You know what? I think they go this way. Oh, I stop and think about it. Yeah, they go that way. Because they will be going on like that. Because they don't go on like that. They go on like that. So, yeah, that's the way they fit on there. You want them to set them as far out as you can. Make sure you wipe that grease. Make sure the grease doesn't get on the pad itself or this. Um, some guys will put the grease on this piece in there, but you know, you want that dry. Well, why would you put grease between where it's supposed to be friction to stop your car? Um, I'll leave this other one up here. that. I've almost gone through the second pack. I don't know if I sent it, said it already. I believe I did, but I'll say it again. I have two packs of that grease. I think it's like $1.75 a pack or $1.38 a pack or something like that. And you want to place that one in there. funny a lot of times when guys will bring me things to fix they'll ask me oh do you have auto mechanics in high school because they notice I'm a high school student no no well, where'd you learn it then because I don't want to drop this off at some hoo -ha's house and have it broken this and that. learned it I learned it myself you know I there's one guy I learned a lot from not my dad <laughs> My dad is not a mechanic. I'm actually going to have to teach him how to fix some stuff here pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, it's off subject, sorry. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take those the smaller screws that, that we took off before a while back. Whoa, got to be up here on screen. Sorry, I've probably been off screen this whole time. I really apologize for that. You're going to want to put some type of anti-seize or something like that on on there I just I'm just using oil and then you're gonna want to hopefully this is all in scene here this is quite difficult I wish I had two people or three hands <laughs> you know what there's quite a few times that I wish I had three hands first guy that invents third hand that's like 
on you and you control it and stuff, you know, he's going to be a true leaner. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. Um, you're going to want to fit these back in like that. You want to carefully put these back in. And then once you put it back in, you're going to want to press these out like that. And then you're going to put these bolts back into place. If I've misnamed something through this video, I apologize, but I know how to do it. don't know the tech technical names for certain things. Um, so, you know, all that matters to me is I know how to do it. I don't need no technical technicality about things. All I know, need to know is how to do it. It's all that matters to me. It should, should be all that matters to you. I'm not saying that's what you should, that's the only thing you should care about or whatever. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not this or that, but I'm just saying that's what I care about. That's what I'm thinking. That's what's going through my head. So after I oil, after I've oiled these up, they're much easier to get in and out. And in the future, when you go to pull them out to change your brake pads again, you'll be thankful that you did it. Let's see, they're there. I just want to snug these up. Don't want to tighten them up exactly yet because they're hard to tighten up in this position. Uh, put the bigger bolts there. I'm going to these up again. Um, a minute ago, I think I was off the frame and I was telling you guys you want to lube up these corners also when you put them in those, in those boots um, in, in their spots. So we're going to carefully sit this back down. Make sure you don't have the, um, the brake pads in the way. Sit it back down in there and make sure this hose here, let's see if you can see that. I have to keep stopping to look in the frame. This hose that here, make sure that's not twisted. If that's twisted, you're going to be screwed. Be really careful of that uh, the whole time you're changing these. If you need some good cheap tools, quickly, you know, Harbor Freight's fine. That's one of the things I love Harbor Freight for. You know, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a professional fixing things, but I'm real stinking good at it. The thing is, though, is I'm not big into paying a whole lot for a set of tools. You know, if it's at Harbor Freight and it's well built, as well as that you can get at Harbor Freight, you know, as long as it works, that's all that matters to me. Let's there's the spec in the hole. Like this tool here, it's an old rusty Taiwan tool. I got it when I was 13. No, I got I think I got that when I was 10. It's in this big, big, big tool kit to set, and I wear that thing out. Um, didn't really lose too many of the tools, but you know, just wore out the uh, the case. All the tools are still good, but just wore the case out. All right, so we're gonna snug everything up here. Now, do not forget to snug or er, to tighten these up all the way. These smaller bolts here. Don't know the torque rating for it, but I really don't care as long as it's tight. I know there, there's torque ratings for everything, but you know, I really don't care. I don't really care for torque rating, nor do I have a, a working torque wrench. I do have a torque wrench, but it doesn't work. Given to me and like I said, I don't know if it works. Here you go. You can have it. Never worked. So, tighten this up here. I know not to over tighten, but tighten enough, you know. Let's see. Now we're going to the other one here. Tighten this up.
tighten up the bottom. If you could take one second while you're watching this video, watching me put this thing back together, go down, give me a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. It's two sec like a second of your time, if you're still watching this video, and we're I'm putting it back together. It's only like two seconds of your video, or your, your time. That's all I ask. Just go down and give me a thumbs up. It'll share. It'll become make my video a little bit more popular and give it more views in the in the future. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so it's tight. Everything's snug. Not snug. Everything's tight. All right. The compressor I'm using is a small compressor. It's all I've got. Hey, it, it works, you know. I think it's an 8-gallon. be snugging it up with the old star wrench make sure you know don't trust machines all that much good or cheap or whatever doesn't matter don't trust them all that much so that's how you do your brake pads hope you enjoyed hope uh, you have a good day once again if you give me a thumbs up if you comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed thank you a whole bunch for subscribing thank you for being there with me YouTube and I hope you have a good one. And yes, I am wearing my military boots. I have really nice Doc Martens. Real nice expensive shoes. <laughs> I like these. They're comfy. So. Oh well. <laughs> totally off subject. I really gotta stop that. See you later, YouTube. <laughs> Bye. Greasy thumb. I don't have a green thumb. I have a greasy one.